hope y'all this pooty. We back for another video, man. Let's have some fun, man. Let's get it, man. Uh, how y'all doing today? Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. If you're not subscribing, man, man, go ahead and subscribe, man. We we chasing this 100 subs goal, and we're going to keep on chasing it until we hit that goal, and then we're going to hit another one. So, uh, man, how y'all been? What's the word? What's been going on? Man. Man, let me tell y'all about depression, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, man. I been having to get straight. You know, depression a motherfucker, man. And I didn't even know, like, man, when people tell you depression, about depression, they don't, like, people really don't know when you depressed or when anything, man, been going to see a counselor. And she said, maybe when you were younger, maybe you wasn't shy. Maybe you had anxiety. And like, I didn't know like, cause my people always said I was shy and like everything, man. I ain't like talking to people or you know something like that so man it feels good like getting certain things off your chest man because i'm one of them people i hold in everything like i hold it in until i can't hold it in no more but man y'all go like talk to somebody man because the only person i talked to was my grandma the only person only person I felt like I could talk to. You know, only person, not that I felt like I could talk to that I was comfortable talking to. You know, that I felt like was listening. I didn't have to like talk, then look up. You know, some people, some people when you talk to them, you can, you're gonna have to talk and then look up and be like, Man, is he really li listening? Cause you can tell some people like, either they don't know how to take it or they think, you know, oh man, man ain't supposed to be like this. Man ain't supposed to be vulnerable. Man, venting for suckers. That's how this world is, man. He, being a man, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it hurts sometimes. But, like, you know, I started noticing this, like, the older I got. Like, it'd be like, I could be sitting with people. Oh, okay, okay, for example, I could be sitting at a party with my wife. And like, I don't, I don't know how to explain this, man. It's hard to explain. And like, all of a sudden, I just, it'll feel like everything will just pause and stop. Like, it'll feel like you in the matrix, basically. Like, you know, when they bullet time for those nerds. <laughs> But it'll feel like the world stopped. Like, and I like have to keep on looking around. You know, I don't know, man. I ain't never been like well. I, I can't say I ain't never been like that, but I just started noticing that. And like. When my grandma passed, like, honestly, it ain't hit me until, like, hospital when she passed. It didn't hit me. Like, I took my little three days off of work, went back to work. Like, everything was normal, man. It didn't hit me 
until me and my family started kind of falling out a little bit. That's when it really started hitting me. Because, man, like, in black families, we are told to respect your elders. You know, people never think to, like, maybe they not disrespectful me, disrespecting me. Maybe they talking to me. But I'm not, I'm not hearing that because I want to... I want them to respect me so bad. Like, that shit, like, it'll, it'll fuck a person up. It really will. It'll fuck a person up. Because it's like you, you plead into a person. Like, you plead into a person, like a, a person you look up to. All you got to do is take out the time to listen, man. Listen. And my wife, like, she kind of trying to, she been helping me a lot. But, like, it's like my grandma has been there forever. 20 years of my life, just I don't like talking about this shit, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like, like, pride is such a hard thing, man. Like, and like, putting myself out there for people, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how y'all gonna feel, I, but, you know, it's like sometimes you need to have these conversations. It's like sometimes you really do. Cause like, you don't know what the next person will do, you know? Man, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Man, thank you to my wife, man. My wife came in at the right time, man. My grandma told me to marry my wife, man. I proposed to my wife two months before my grandma passed. Two months. That shit crazy, man. Man, I ain't up in... Man, let me get off this emotional stuff. Because, man, I, I don't do this. <laughs> I really don't, man. But, like... Like I said, it need to be said, man. It need to be said. So, man, if you know a person that fit, you, you you feel it. You know, some people just need to be hugged, man. You know? You know, you can't be too much of a man to, you know, help a person out of a hole, man. Cause like, I feel like if my wife didn't help me out of my old, I don't know. The older I get, like the more I'm realizing like, life just fucked up, man. I don't know, that's why I don't like getting close to people. Because man, like, you don't never wanna feel like that. Like, say if you lose somebody, you don't want to feel like that. You don't want to feel, you know, all the conversations and whatnot. I can't even, I can barely remember my grandma's voice. And that's crazy. 20 years. My life just fucked up, man. And, like, you got to realize, man, all the wrong you do to people. Like, I don't think people understand one day you gonna go. Do you want people to real, you know, look at you and be, you know, look at your grave and be like, man, is it fucked up? Like spit on your grave and shit, man. I can't live like that, man. That's why every problem I done had, I done forgave everybody, man. I done forgave them, man. You can't live with like, 
holding on to bullshit. You know, you can forgive a person. That don't mean you ever gotta be close to a person no more. Like, like they say forgive and forget. I'm only human, so the forget part only goes so far. I don't know. Like, I be trying to forget, but shit be hard, man. Shit be hard for me. Man, I'm finna get back to my reaction shit, man. Y'all have a good day, man. I, I just wanted to speak with y'all. You know, let y'all know what's going on, man. Because, like, being human is something else. Being human is something else. And I, you need to get your life right, man. I mean, we all young. We, some people, they take longer, man. You know, like I said, this, it didn't mean it still in me from when I was young, man. My grandma, and maybe that's why it, it hurt so bad. Because, like, I remember being young. My grandma used to talk to us, would talk to me. She used to talk to my sister too, but I don't think she was listening. She was so young. I'm so still. <laughs> Man, I love you. But you get on my damn nerves. Um, like, she used to talk, man. I'd be like, man, I'm, I'm gonna go one day. So you need to know these things, man. You know? She used to always say, man, when I go, I want to see you again. You know, so I'm doing everything in my power to make sure, you know, that happens. I'm finna get back to some reactions. Yeah, but I heard y'all have a good day, man. Tell everybody you love them, man. You know, that's all you can do. You know, make sure people know don't just tell them, show them, man. Give them their flowers while they here. You ain't gotta give nobody no flowers while they, you know, when they gone. Give them flowers now. You know? It's just, it's just crazy, man. Like, we wait. We wait until somebody passes to want to call, want to, you know, give people gifts and, you know, just be affectionate towards people. But when they pass, you feel it. People say they care, but what was that when I was here? Well, I'm going to talk to y'all later, man. Y'all have a good day. Bye.